Welcome to Pseudoscientific. I'm Darren, and I have a problem. I want to hang a pseudoscientific ad at my school with the corresponding NFC tag for people to scan. And I want to know just how effective this poster is. How many people really scanned this NFC tag that I have? But I don't have the time to stand around my poster all day keeping track of everyone who scans it. After all, I'm too busy failing calculus during the school day. So how do I fix this problem? Well, luckily, I've learned to teach NFC tags to count. Check this out. Now, with just a scan of my own, you can see how many times an NFC tag's been scanned right here. Confused? Well, don't worry, because I'll be teaching you how you can do this too in under a minute. So, whether you're an NFC enthusiast, an advertiser, or just somebody who's interested in learning how things work, keep watching. And be sure to like and subscribe. Oh my gosh, I've really become one of those content creators now. I talked about NFCs a lot in my previous video, linked here, but the general gist of it is that NFC tags are a way to store information on a chip with no battery that can be scanned with devices like phones. So what we're going to be needing for this specific application are one NFC tag of model NXP NTAG 213, 215, or 216. These are the only three models that will work, but these are really common on Amazon and you can buy them pretty easily for under 25 cents per NFC tag. And we'll also need an Android phone that can scan NFCs. Some of the features of the app we're going to be using are locked to Android, so unfortunately we can only use an Android for this and you can't use any other kind of phone device. But if you have both of those things, we can do this pretty easily. Let's get started. To start off, we're going to be downloading two free apps on our Android device, NXP Tag Info and NXP Tag Writer. Tag Info allows us to read detailed information from this tag, and NXP Tag Writer allows us to put information on this tag. So let's go to Tag Writer first, click Write Tags, New Dataset, and Link. And right here, you can type in whatever URL you want to link to your NFC tag. I'll be using my YouTube channel. Now click Configure Mirroring Options and select your card type. We'll be using an NTAG 215 for this example. Now there are two checkboxes at the bottom here that say Enable UID Mirroring and Enable Counter Mirroring. Enable UID Mirroring adds a UID to the end of your link which is basically a manufacturer-given identifier for your specific NFC tag that'll allow you to differentiate between multiple identical NFC tags. But what we're interested in right now is the countermirroring option, which puts a number at the end of your link that allows us to track how many times this NFC has been scanned. One important thing to note about this counter number is that it's written in hexadecimal. So instead of numbers with digits from zero to nine, this has digits from 0 to 9 and also the letters A through F that represent 10 through 15. You might not know how to convert hexadecimal to decimal or the number system that we use, but there's a couple of websites out there that allow us to do exactly that. For example, mathisfun.com has this hexadecimal converter, where if you want to type in a hexadecimal number, for example, let's say you don't know what uh, D4 means, then you just type it in and you instantly get a decimal representation of the number. In this case, 212. One more thing, we can enable both UID and counter mirroring, and now the number at the bottom will be split into two numbers, separated by an X. The first number is the UID, and the second number will be your counter. So now just click OK, and click Save and Write. Unclick Confirm Overwrite, click Write again, and now all you have to do is place your NFC tag near the middle of this device. like so, and you're basically done. So now let's check out our counter in action by scanning this NFC tag. Click Tag Info or the second app that we need to download, scan the NFC tag, and then click NDEF. Here we can see the UID of our NFC tag as well as the counter, the number of times we've scanned it. This number says nine because I messed up eight separate times while recording this part of the video. Let's scan it one more time to show that it works. And now the number says A or 10. 
in hexadecimal. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you want to see more content like this, and be sure to share with a friend who you think this information could help. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a poster to hang up, and school officials to evade. See you next time!